Hello and welcome to this session. Today we will learn how to run our Catalan Studio tests from Jenkins. So Jenkins is a very popular and widely used continuous integration tool and in this session we will see how to run it from Jenkins. So the first thing is you have to get Jenkins. So you can go to your browser, go to Google and here you can just say download Jenkins and you will get this Jenkins.io website and here if you go down you will find Jenkins available for, for different platforms and we will get this Jenkins Java generic Java package which is .war file now you can click here and you will get the .war file in my case I already have it here so you can see this is here so the next step is I will go to command line if you are on Windows you can go to your Windows command line if you are on Mac you can go to terminal so here I will just search for my Windows command line and I will open it so I am just using run as administrator and I will go to the location of this downloads folder you can directly uh, say cmd here and hit enter it will open the command line in the current folder however I will just say cd downloads and here I will say java-jar and jenkins.war which is the jenkins.war file here and if I hit enter it will start jenkins on default port which is 8080 but um, usually that port is busy so I will start it on a different port and I will say hyphen hyphen http port equals I can give any port number like 9191 and say enter this will start our jenkins server on port 9191 so once you will see the information here that Jenkins is started you can go to your you can see this Jenkins is fully up and running now I can go to my browser and say localhost and colon 9191 now in place of localhost you can also use the IP of your system or the system where Jenkins server is started and 9191 is the port I will hit enter and here this is showing my Jenkins dashboard now this is because Jenkins was already on my system earlier and I already have a Jenkins home uh, folder but if you are using Jenkins for the first time the first thing you will get is you will uh, get a screen to add your admin password and then you will add you will get a screen to add some plugins so if I just show you if I say install Jenkins and show you some images so here you can see this is what you will get uh, when you run it for the first time and this admin password is available in the logs here you will find it here where you have started your Jenkins on your command line and you can also find it in your secrets folder wherever your Jenkins is installed and then you will also after this get this kind of a folder where you can install suggested plugins now I am skipping these steps because I have a complete separate course on Jenkins which is available on YouTube as well as Udemy so you can watch that in case this is the first time you are using Jenkins so I will skip these things and I will just directly go to my dashboard and here I can click on new item to create a new job I will say new item and I will say uh, this is Catalan Studio sample rest job and freestyle job say ok and this will create this job and you can see we have different sections general source code management build triggers build environments build post build actions so here in the general you can give some description if you want to create some particular workspace you can go to advanced and provide that particular workspace here use custom workspace and then here we have source code management so here if you want you can also get your project from git whenever this job will trigger so this git option you will get once you have added the git plugins and here you will give your git repository so we have already learned in our earlier session how to create a github repository so uh, you can see here in the last session we learned about git and this is my repository url so I can give this here and that's it and then 
I can say apply and save and I will just run this before adding the other commands I will just run and check if it is working fine and if it is able to get my project from the remote repository which is github so let me go and check the console output and you can see it is cloning the project from git and it is storing it here in this particular location which is c user administrator dot jenkins workspace and here it is storing the project which is cloned from git so if i go to this folder physically on my system system here so you can see here this is getting created and this is getting cloned from uh, github so this is the project that just got cloned from github using the jenkins job so this is working fine so now what i can do is i will go back to my project and go to configure and now i will go down so this is an optional step if you want to do this this will be helpful and what i will do now is i will go to the build step and i will add the commands now if you are on windows you can say execute windows bash command if you are on mac you can use execute shell so i am as of now on windows I, I will say execute windows bash command and also this we have learned in the earlier session how you can run from command line so you are going to use the same um, principles there we will get our command generated so if i go to my catalon studio you can see we have this command builder here build cmd and here you can browse the test suite you want so i will just say this and here you can select display console logs and all these things and then i will say generate command and here you can see this is the command so i'm going to use the same command here in my jenkins job however you can see the project that i am using this you can uh, give as per whatever is uh, is saved from your jenkins job so from my jenkins job the project is saved here so either i can give this location that will also work or this is the earlier location of my project that should also work and then here before running this command we have to change the location to the installation of uh, catalon studio so in my case i have my catalon studio here inside desktop i have tools and then catalon studio and here are different version the latest one i am using is 5.8.6 so i will just go here so i will change the location here i will say d colon because it is in d colon d drive and then i will say cd and change the location here and then i will run this project and apply and save and let me build it now and let us see the output so this is now running let us see so you can see this is checking out from git and now it has changed the location and it is now running our command and this is running the test suite so basically you are going to use the same command that you generate from your catalon studio in your jenkins job and you can see this is successful so this is how you can run your project or run your test from jenkins so you can go back and you can see this is our project or this is our job in jenkins and this is running fine so this is how you can run your catalon studio tests from jenkins and once you have integrated with jenkins it will be very easy for you to integrate with other systems or in a continuous integration environment i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching